to be left off or snubbed off, uh, you know, the biggest show of the year, especially when it's two nights, yeah, that hurt. Finn Balor, as I live and breathe. Here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> How many times have I interviewed you? Probably too many. Too many? <laughs> no, no, not enough. Not enough. Yeah. It's always a pleasure. I would interview you every week if I could. If every interview i done was just with you, I would be happy. Oh, really? Do you mean But that? sadly, we're in a room of about 200 people. So... You've got other you work can, to you do. Can, you can gauge my mood right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we can have some fun. Oh, we can yeah, have some fun. Have um, how, how are you feeling? Big stadium show in the UK. Yeah. Big, big deal. Are you excited? No. Nah. 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 It's another night at the office now. It's <laughs> it, uh, like With regards like being in the ring, it's the same as normal, but it's incredible to be doing a huge show here and the scale of it hadn't really hit me until I got here yesterday. Okay. Uh, like driving through Cardiff, seeing all the flags and the banners and driving past the castle and they got all the merch and everything out on the, out on the street. Uh, it's a huge event and it kind of like crept up on us because you know, you, you're just going so fast on Raw and house shows and Raw and house shows and pay-per-views in the US and then all of a sudden, boom, you're kind of like, it's almost like a WrestleMania scale event yeah. and uh, you know, what wasn't really, I don't want to say wasn't prepared, but wasn't expecting uh, this scale. Yeah. All, always prepared. And always prepared. Yeah. And you say it's, you know, you're in the ring, it's this, the same thing, but you've done a few stadium shows now. Yeah. Does, does that feeling ever get old, or do you still get those butterflies of excitement before you go out? Um, when you're in gorilla position. Uh, hey, hey, little plug. Yeah. Um, when I'm in the gorilla position, uh, it, honestly, it feels the same. Uh, there's obviously like a it takes longer for the feedback to come from the crowd because yeah. of the, the size of the bowls or the size of the, the arena um, so you got to wrestle at a slightly different pace but um, but for me it's business as usual I, I like won't really affect how I perform tomorrow at all so uh, I, I believe they have a roof right yes I believe yeah. so yeah so, so one thing uh we done the stadium show a couple of weeks ago in Nashville for SummerSlam. And there was no roof and it was like 35 degrees. And I was boiling and I was like, jocks were sweating and everything before I went out there. So hopefully they got the AC pumped in, <laughs> in the principality tomorrow. That will be good. Yeah. Um, you were talking about SummerSlam weekend. During the press you did for that, you were quite, you were quite sort of open about how frustrated you were being left off big shows in the past. Yeah. Does, does that really bother you because you're such a laid-back character do you get frustrated if you're if you're not part of a big event um yeah of course i'm a professional and i want to i want to wrestle and i want to i feel like i'm one of the top performers in the business consistently over years and years and years so i don't feel like you know i feel like i deserve to be on those shows and uh, especially the my output with regards to live events and non-televised events, I'll be on every every show. So uh, to be, to be left off or snubbed off, uh, you know, the biggest show of the year, especially when it's two nights, yeah, that hurt. And uh, you know, it's I, I feel like I'm sure it was to do with how I was performing, and maybe I was a little monotonous going through the motions with you know the, that kind of baby face version of Finn. Uh, but you know, I feel reinvigorated recently, being able to do a true heel. Uh, character, which I feel like I do better, much better than I do a babyface, and uh, something that I haven't properly done in WWE either. You know, we kind of we tried to do it in NXT, but when we lost the audience uh, due to COVID, we had to kind of tweak the character and make it more of a tweener. But uh, I'm enjoying being a, a true heel. I don't really have to act; I just be my pissed off <laughs> version of myself that I normally am. Moody like, Finn, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hungry Finn, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I'm enjoying it. I feel reinvigorated. Like I can wrestle a different style now in the ring. I'm doing different stuff, and uh, yeah, just I, f I feel refreshed. So I I'm I'm glad to be to be doing this version. And, and there's, there's definitely a refreshed energy in WWE now. Vince is retired, Triple H has taken over creative. Do you think you will have better opportunities to shine with Triple H at the, the head of the table, so it were? Uh, I don't think, um, I don't think who, who's in charge of the company will affect my performance. Uh, I can only just go out there and do what I do as best as I can. And uh, I don't think it's going to... Like who's in charge is going to change, you know, how I perform. Uh, I'm always going to go out there and give it everything that I have. So whether the opportunities or not come, 
remains to be seen. It's only been a couple of weeks, so let's uh, let's not get too excited. <laughs> Finn, great seeing you, yeah. and have a wonderful weekend. Cheers, you too.